Okay, hi everybody. This is my first attempt at a video, so hopefully it'll go okay. Anyway, your job or your assignment for this week is going to be a design task. Um, I have uploaded a design brief for you, and it's design a neat and compact artifact for your desk to organize writing and study accessories in a neat and compact way. Uh, and what we're going to do through the week is we're going to actually work through a design brief on this. So starting today with how do you do an analysis? How do you do an investigation? And then leading on to the design and the sketching. Okay, so if you want to print that, you can. Or if you just want to write it out on a piece of paper, that will work as well for you. All right, so to start with, I have to analyze this brief. Okay, but before I can analyze anything, I got to figure out, well, what are the important things in the, the brief? What are the things that have to be in it? What are the things that I have to talk about and think about? So, for example, as I read through it, I'm going to start by highlighting the words that are important. So it says to design, so we know that bit. It needs to be a neat and compact artifact. So in other words, that artifact is a just another word for an item, an object uh, for your desk. So we're going to use it on our desk. It's going to organize um, the writing and study accessories. And it needs to be neat and compact. Okay, so compact is there twice. Now that's important. So anything that is said twice has to be in the brief. Okay, so I'm just gonna box that off out of there so that I can think about this for a little minute. So a neat and compact artifact. So some class of an item. Essentially it's a desk tidy, isn't it? Okay. All right, so there we go. Now, so the first thing we do on any project brief is we do an analysis, A-N-A-L-Y. Now, there's a good old keyword. What's an analysis? Well, for us today, it's basically, well, what do we know? What do we already know, I suppose, actually is a better way of putting it. So in brackets, what do we know? question mark okay and so far on this well it's you go back through your brief and you kind of make a list of all the things that have to be in the project in other words what does this have to do what do I have to do what do I have to include in it so first thing I see there is and I'll put down a bullet point it must organize desk items in an orderly way. Orderly, now there's a fancy word. Neat, tidy, orderly way. Um, it must be compact. So what I usually do when I'm doing these is rather than reuse the wording that's used up there, just change it and put in your own words. So it must be compact, can change to it must be neat and small, or I suppose neat and not too big because what's small? Okay. Um, it must be attractive. Now, if they use the word attractive, no. And what's attractive really mean? Attitude, oh, fancy. Pleasant looking. So it can't be ugly. We all know what we like. Okay, so it must be attractive. Um, the items should be easily accessed, so I suppose the items should be easy to get at. Let's put it again in our own words. Okay. 
Now, I must organise desk items in an orderly way. It must be neat and not too big. It must be attractive, pleasant looking, and the items should be easy to get at. Uh, is there anything there that I am missing? You have come back to your desk organised right. It needs to be compact on the desk. You don't want it to take over the whole desk. So the item. I suppose the, the word for that is a small footprint. So the item should have a small footprint. In other words, it doesn't take over your desk. Something I could use at the moment, actually. What's a footprint or something? It's basically the, the part of it that touches the desk, that sits in the desk, can't be too big. All right, and that's essentially what an analysis is. Now, so that, just to go back through it, it was, well, what do we know? So an analysis of anything is a breakdown of all the items or all the information, basically kind of balancing up and thinking about, well, what's, what do we already know about this thing before we ever go to organize it and to, to, to write it and to do it? So I'm gonna go over here for a second. I'm just gonna turn the page. Analysis. breaks down the brief. Into smaller parts. Okay, now that's important because yeah, we're doing a design brief this week, but the things you have to take from this going forward are those two pieces of information. Okay, so it breaks it down into smaller bits. Now, so that's analysis. After analysis, we do an investigation. This is where you come in. Okay, so the first thing on an investigation is, well, what items is this thing gonna hold? And we start off by making a list. Okay, so effectively if it's a desk tidy, we're talking about pens, biros, pencils. Pens and pencils. Um, with those, you have erasers. Sharpeners although you call them pencil pointers. Um, highlighters, they're kind of an unusual shape, so therefore they need to, might need to be thought about separately. H -O -G -H -O -I. Highlighter, maybe Tipex. Um, coloring pencils, coloring pens, pencils, I suppose, depending on what you use. Maybe a stapler, another unusually shaped item. Perhaps a memory stick, keep it near to hand. Those things are always getting lost. Um, the actual staples themselves. Maybe a calculator. And I'm going to put in dot, 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 because this is where you come in. I want you to add at least two more. So plus two more items to that list. Things that you might hold. On a desk tidy okay now so that is the start 
of the investigation. Okay, so we've had analysis. Here's our investigation. Um, I'm gonna go box off that top one nicer. I don't like the way I boxed it off. So this was analysis in one box. And we said what analysis is. Okay, we're on to investigation. However, because I'm not finished investigation, I'm not gonna box it off just yet because you're gonna come up with two more items that this thing is gonna hold. However, what would you do then at that stage? So if you decided on the artifacts you're gonna hold, the next question you'd have to ask each yourself is what size are these artifacts? So if we were making it for holding a stapler, for example, these items, um, I'd need to know the size of the stapler in order to figure out, well, how big should each other bit be, etc. So I'm gonna put a question mark on that because that's one of the things we need to figure out. Now, however, this week, because we're not actually making it, we're just designing it, I'm not too worried about size. So I'm just gonna highlight that for a second and we'll come back to it another time. But we would need to know that. So first of all, you'd make a list of the artifacts that you were thinking of holding in it. Um, if this was my third year project, I'd go through that list now and I'd tick off the things that are important to me. And then I'd say, all right, okay, what size these artifacts are these items gonna be? And I'd go and I'd find out. But what we're gonna do now though, and this is where you come in again, so this is your job. At this stage, you'd look online to see existing solutions. So the heading would be existing solutions. And as that's another heading, this would be an important one. I'll underline that. And where would you do in order to look at it? You'd look online. Or in magazines. To see what's already available. Another to get ideas. Basically, someone has already solved this problem. So what the question is, is it the sort of solution that you would like to use or do you think you can improve on their solution? So your job, okay, and today is Monday and I'm giving you to Wednesday to go through this. Now you don't have to submit it to me, but your job is to figure out two more items for that list. And then your homework then, look online, look for ideas, be, be ready for ideas. Because the next stage when we come back is going to be sketching and coming up with ideas. Now, all of you are going to come up with a different idea, which ultimately you'll submit to me. And I'll put a video together again of everybody's design and design sketches. You did that very well the last time. And when I do that, I'll be looking to see uh, not only good design, but also the quality of the sketching and the quality of the presentation. Um, same with this sheet, I've tried to make it look pretty as I went by, and also think about it as I was writing and I've told you before that when you're sketching and writing and colouring things in and highlighting things, it helps the brain think. So there's a reason I always do these kind of things, it gets you to think. And really, at the end of the day, that's what we all badly need to be able to do. Think, organise our thoughts, get our thoughts down on paper. And when it comes to the stage of you designing your own project, okay, and bear in mind now you'll be on your own in third year designing, coming up with your ideas. I'll have given you the how, but it's still you ultimately that's coming up with the ideas. To help you do that, or I suppose when you're doing that, your brain needs to be ticking over. It's not something that comes straight away. You don't just get an idea and that's it. It's an idea that develops. It develops from what you've seen elsewhere or what you've done elsewhere. Okay. All right. So you can either print out this sheet or you can just write out the brief. And the brief is there at the top. Design a neat and compact artifact for your desk to organize writing and study accessories in a neat and compact way. 
all of these sheets, by the way, that you have done and are doing and will do, I need you to keep all them in your woodwork folder. I'm also keeping a record of it, apart from just what's on Google Classroom, I'm keeping a, a paper printed record as well of everything. And for the moment, that'll be okay. Okay, I'll talk to you again.